So we've got your first pro uh, first interview in front of you. Give it a play, see what your thoughts are after each question. I mean, I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, I mean, the whole time I've worked hard for, for this. Um, it's the next step. Um, I mean, since I was a kid playing football, this is what I've dreamt, dreamt to do, dreamt to, dreamt to be. So um, I'm excited to get started for pre-season. Um, I, I, I wouldn't be able to be here without the support of my parents, um, my family as well, um, and obviously Ross and Ross as well. But at my old club as well, Chris Barker uh, was obviously a legend at Aldershot. Um, he influenced me to come to Aldershot as well. Um, he said how good it was, so I'd like to obviously thank him as well. Obviously he's not here anymore, but um, I'd like to thank him as well. So Yeah, so... Obviously, Barks is the one that initially got me into all the shop. Um, suggested it before I've obviously got released from Forest Green. But um, but yeah, obviously coming here has obviously been a blessing. I can't lie. So I've obviously made a couple, like seven appearances now in National League, which I didn't think at this time watching this I'll, I'll have made this season. Um, so yeah, obviously I've, I've made that next step of playing games. And obviously I'm still buzzing, but I'm still here. And I can't wait to see what the future holds. So yeah. Tell me a bit more and the fans a bit more about you and the kind of player you are, positions you play as well. Um, so I'm Rockford, I'm a right back defender, um, probably one of the last dying breeds of dying, like a hard school, hard defender, um, love a tackle, love to get forward, put crosses into the box, I think crossing is probably one of my biggest strengths. Um, I love defending, I mean, I mean, I think you've got to be as a full back avenue, especially in the National League. Um, but no, I'm a proper team player. I want to do do everything right for the team and um, hopefully kick on the season. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, obviously, as you can tell from the games I've played, you can tell that I'm a, I'm a team player. I want to do everything for the, for the team. And um, obviously, I just want to work hard for the team and do the best the best I can do and um, prove myself to everyone and keep going. To be fair. Because you also come off the back of a successful academy season where we spoke about the cup final, you're captain of the under-23s yeah. here as well. So that must be good for you going into first-team football. I mean, yeah, it was a good experience to play against a good Slough, te a good Slough team in the final. Um, I mean, we should have won, but, you know, it happens. Um, but, you know, we went away from after that game, after losing, um, happy for a successful season. I mean, we only conceded about four goals since we come back from the second lockdown as a defender. That's a, it's a good thing for us, but no, we um, we take the positives from it. Uh, playing against a good side, we've done well. It's two one up. So, um, but yeah, no, it was a successful season, very successful season for us. That season was probably the, the strongest, strongest twenty three group I've probably seen. All of us come from Cat One, Cat Two teams. Um, we were we were solid, especially on defence, uh, midfield, for our whole team to be fair. So we all, a lot of us have come through into the um, into the first team. Um, obviously, Tommy is still playing now, being unbelievable. Obviously, Ellis is out on loan, doing well. Um, obviously, myself, but yeah, we had a really, really successful 23s team. Obviously, I think we lost like 1 in 40 or something. So, um, yeah, it was a really successful year. And um, obviously, that year was obviously being captain for the 23s as well, was obviously helped me manage, obviously, coming in and being as positive as I can into the first team. Because also with the manager as well, as well, he's got a history of bringing in through young players and things yeah. like that. So for you, that must be a massive positive for you going into first team football. Oh, I mean, coming in, obviously looking at obviously Joe last year, Ben Shaw last year, um, coming through, obviously signing, obviously played with him last year at Aldershot. But um, but yeah, seeing them progress as well. I mean, Shaw with them getting their National League debuts, this obviously helped me think right. This is this is perfect for me, perfect opportunity to prove myself and hopefully get my debut. Tom and the staff obviously and Mark obviously come in and um, they obviously gave me an opportunity. Obviously I went straight out alone. I just thought it was a good thing so I'm playing but I didn't play in about eight weeks. So obviously when um, then they obviously called me back and obviously I had my chance and I think they they've they've proper made me um, believe in what, with my own ability to, to actually play in the National League. Obviously probably before I went out alone I was um, with, with Danny, obviously I didn't get any game time, so I was uh, struggling to think I'd get any games at all. Since they, since they came in, I've, um, I've uh, enjoyed it and I've, I've been playing games, which is the main thing. And obviously, the, from the first team players that have helped you out, you've been training with them the last few weeks as well. Yeah, I mean, for the last three, four weeks, I was full time with them, and um, 
as soon as I went in there, every single player um, skip. Like, so James Henry's White obviously introduced me well with them, and um, and you know at the start of the season I was with them for a bit, but it was towards the end of the season where I was in full time, um, get to the lads and stuff like that. Um, they were all really nice. I mean they've helped me, uh, especially George Fowler, obviously as, as a right back as well. He pulled me to one side a couple of times and gave me a couple of pointers, stuff like that. So you know even little things like that help massively, really really help. The lads this year, I think we're a proper tight group. Um, obviously last year was was good, but I think coming into this year has been a lot better. Everyone's been a tight knit group, and um, we're all working well together. We all gel really really well together. We all of us talk, and um, I think we're a really positive 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 group this year. And of course, with that, we have to go thanks to Ross and Ross and Will Eden Academy as well, who would have oh, supported you along the way. Massively, massively, especially Ross and Ross. And you know, they believed in me. They pushed me on. They've um, you know they've done what's, what's right for me. And um, I think that's the, uh, I think, I think oh, I've got to thank them massively, especially uh, Ross White as well, you know. It wasn't just in football where I could speak to him, I was speaking to him out of football, you know, if I had some problems I could talk to him, so, you know, they've helped me just progress throughout the year, so. Obviously Ross and Ross were really, really good to us last year, especially as a team, they knew how to talk to us, they knew how to deal with us. Um, obviously Ross isn't, Ross isn't sat now, so he's on to bigger things, but he's, um, I still talk to him now, and he's, uh, He's really good. Obviously, taking under he's taking under the under 18s there. Um, but yeah, I still keep keep um, keep asking how I am and stuff like that. So yeah, it's good. Good that they keep keep talking to us. Just yeah. finally, Alfie, what's your goals and targets for next season? You know, um, not, first of all, let's get into pre-season. Um, get into pre-season. Hopefully, have a smashing pre-season. Prove to them that I, you know, I can do it. You know. Um, maybe go on loan. That's a good. That'd be a good opportunity to me, for me. Maybe step two, step three. To uh, then it will prove myself on that level, and then I'll you know come back and then try and get in the uh, Ultra team hopefully. <laughs> Obviously, thing that's written. <laughs> that's what happened in uh, in the season. So um, no, that's that's positive. I think to get called back and in, involved in the first team every week is uh, probably push my development uh, development on. Sorry. Sort of a psychic, really, with that, really. Yeah, well. it has, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something yeah. like that. <laughs> and obviously, with the new deal now, how happy are you to keep keep staying here? Oh, yeah, of course, I'm, I'm excited to keep going and um, over, over my period of time here. Hopefully, I can push push the team on and um, see where we are next year and keep going. Are you in the shop? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.